frogs are back out at the pond, awake after their winter sleep. And green frogs. You can tell a green frog by the ridges here that run all the way down their back. If he were a bullfrog, the ridge would end right there and curve down around the ear. Yeah. I'm warm. It's only 50 some degrees. And he's like, oh yeah, that's nice. There is another one. He's also a green frog, even though he's brown. Green frogs are highly variant in their color. But you can see got the ridge running along there. Yesterday was slightly warmer and there were a good half dozen frogs out. And fish. Oh, you can tell it's five. Coming home from work. Oh, there's one way over there across the way that you probably can't see, but let's see if we can. The matriarch females in frogs tend to be <laughs> tend to be larger than the males. That's why I'm guessing that it's big as that one was, that it was probably a female. Nobody's in the bog tonight? Yesterday there were a couple in the bog. And come the warmer weather. This thing, which needs some cleaning because that's a lot of algae in there, but this is going to be full of tadpoles. Toad mostly. Although there are frogs. I mean, we always have some young frogs. You just don't see their tadpoles as often. I think they tend to lay them down in the actual pool once the lilies are up. I do see one of the little ones. Get past the grass here. Let's see if I can get Oh, he just went in the pot. There's a little guy. I do not see signs today of our leopard frog from yesterday. Yesterday I actually saw a leopard frog, which is a new frog species for us in this pond. Not unheard of in our part of the state.
Green frog again. Brown green frog. Back at the beginning. Hey guys. Hi friend. <laughs> 